Yo, what up, dudes? It's your boy, Anime Gamer 264 here, with another hot competitive gameplay in the sweat playlist known as Classic Mix. No, I'm kidding. This is during Iron Banner, and someone did a loadout request, and I didn't have this items leveled up, so I busted these out the vault, and I just started swinging. Uh, and then, it, and then this was this was the result. Mainly because this Twilight Oath is completely unfair, but we're not going to talk about that today. Today, we're going to talk about awesome things, such as Valorant. We're going to talk about the cheating that's going on in Destiny 2 and how much of a fuck I really don't give a shit. And we're going to talk about other things amongst that, and I'm probably not going to talk about. Right, so we're going to talk a little bit about Valorant right now. I play Valorant off stream, and I don't do any YouTube on it, since that's mostly dedicated to Destiny stuff. And I like to keep it that way. Now, I may play it on stream, depending on certain conditions. Um, I'm grinding out the partnership, which is why I have not been doing much YouTube recently. But I'm, I'm going to get back on the YouTube here. Don't worry about that, folks. The The Trials uh, videos have been kind of postponed until hopefully this map is good this week. Because the last two weeks, I just didn't play much Trials. Like, Cauldron, I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to play that map in a competent manner. Which was, like, very structured that I could, you know, post on YouTube and tell people to emulate this. And it'll give them pretty consistent results. And uh, Rusted Lands, I just didn't really play. I played like one day of it, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to play this right now. So I'm not going to lie. So that's my excuse for that. Sorry if that's a little disheartening. I'll try to get back into the swing of it this week, seeing as how everyone's quitting the game, and that's prime real estate for people like me who are at that middle level of view counts and, you know, following and subscriptions and stuff like that. I think this time is going to be critical for me, and so I'm going to get on that frickin' grind. Anyhow... Hope all of you guys are safe, hope you have plenty of resources and time and all that during this pandemic. I'm doing fine myself, not that anyone asked, but hey, you know, it's good to throw it out there. Gotta be a relatable streamer, I'm not invincible to this shit too, you know. I'm just, I'm just invincible in game, even though I just died, but we're not gonna talk about that. Valorant, Valorant, Valorant. I've been having a lot of fun, obviously I come from many, 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 many years of Counter-Strike, so this is an interesting turn up. A lot of people say that it's Counter-Strike and Overwatch mixed together. To that, I would say that's probably the most incorrect statement. And people's argument is like, oh, well, Sage, Sage has the slow and the ice wall. And I'm like, no, if anything, it's more like Dirty Bomb with Counter-Strike shooting mechanics. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because Dirty Bomb did character balance phenomenally, at, like, after they nerfed Sparks. Well, I don't, like, Sparks was busted. So if you played any Dirty Bomb, you pretty much know what I'm talking about. And I'm, I'm pretty excited for Valorant. No, I'm not going to quit Destiny for Valorant as far as I know. As as always. Like, that's just, that's just a stupid thing. Just, like, I can't do that. I am probably going to play ranked in Valorant a lot. It looks pretty exciting. And I'm having a lot of fun playing with my friends and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's going to be a thing for me. Maybe I'll make some content on it. I don't know if I'll make YouTube videos or anything like that on it. But we'll, we'll see. If, if it's something that you guys seem like you might want, then, you know, I... I I'll throw a couple of javelins out in the field and see what's up. But this is a Destiny channel, like I just said, so let's talk about the meat and bones of this video instead of filling four minutes of me talking about Valorant and playing a British guy who's got a cool accent, cool hairstyle, and throws flashbangs. Let's talk about Destiny to Trials of Osiris and the rampant what, uh, fiddlesticks that is going on right now. The fiddlesticks that is going on in the game. And by that I mean cheating, players talking about supporting cheating because there's already rampant cheating, and people leaving the game because there's so many cheaters. Uh, let's let's get into this. I'm gonna get into this. And I think I should start this off by saying uh, I'm so used to playing against cheaters every match in like other games that me running into a cheater in a game where I have I have silent aim, like I really do not care. And what I mean is, I don't, I'm not actually cheating, I'm saying that the bullet magnetism on mouse and keyboard on PC, it's, it's fucking comical, you literally have silent aim, I don't know why anyone feels the need to cheat, but hey, you know what, good for them. I'm gonna keep playing because uh, I'm used to this, really. I, quite frankly, I am used to playing against cheaters every match, I've come from many different games where I just assumed that there was a cheater at any given time, and I would play based around that, and that's how I'm gonna play Destiny. Unless there's like someone, you know, flying around shooting rockets at... You know, like 500 ward cliff per second. You know, I can't really play against that. I just the play against that is just the, you know back out of the lobby. But in any case, uh, this doesn't really deter me from playing the game at all. And I want you guys to know that. 
and I don't think it should deter you from playing at all. But it's okay if you decide to stop playing, because that's good consumerism, and that's showing that you're not satisfied with the product, which is a live service, and you are now, you know, using your right to not play. And that is, again, good consumerism. And I would recommend you advocate that and, you know, use your rights as a consumer, regardless of where you are, because it's important and it shows that, like, hey, this product needs to be improved or it's just not going to get used. What I will say is I do feel like the amount of cheaters that are around is definitely being blown out of fucking proportion, because I swear I run into maybe two a day and I play for like six hours a day, sometimes up to 18 hours a day depending on the scenario if I'm like going for a world's first race. But on average, it's about six to seven hours a day. Uh, unless it's trials, then it's usually eight. And even then, I, some days I feel like I don't run into any. I, I don't know if I'm just blessed with the gift of the gods or like what's going on in with that, but I do feel like it's being blown out of proportion. And what I will say is consider that there are good players in the game, even if it is Destiny, not everyone's cheating. And there is bullshit involved, like targeting adjusters and targeting perks and easy sniper rifles. It's not like sniper rifles are particularly the most difficult weapon to hit consistent headshots with, as we're seeing in this video. So just keep that in mind and keep an open mind. And if you feel like someone's cheating, report them via the in-game thing. If you have evidence that someone's cheating on like a stream, you can uh, submit evidence through a bungee form. I don't actually know. I guess I'll put a link in the description whenever I get my hands on that. But yeah, I mean, just do your due diligence as a community member. And that's all I can recommend. If you don't like rage about them or tilt about them or, you know, feed them anything, since most of the time they're just trolling or they want the ego boost. And they're just, if they're closet cheating, they're just going to deny that they're cheating. So it's a lose lose situation. Just report them and move on. And don't give them the satisfaction of your day. Just be like, all right, enjoy your free win, dude. Have fun. So I covered the cheating thing. I'm going to get into just like the core, the core aspects of the game, like trials being a game mode. Uh, I've talked about trials and how the service directory and the carry the carry culture in this game is kind of annoying for me, but I'm not going to cover that again because I feel like I've beat that horse dead into the ground three times over, resurrected it as a necromancer, and then killed it again. But what I am going to say is trials... It, I'm gathering my thoughts here. Trials is just... It's in this rough patch where like the first day it was cool. But I feel like the it just took a major hit with the whole Astral Horizon farming thing way too early in its life cycle. I feel like provided that happened on like week 4 or 5, it would have been able to survive it. But I think that that puts such a bad taste in people's mouths, which is really unfortunate. But I think that we will see more of a... I don't want to say a, a bell curve, but like a, a sine wave kind of thing going on where like... The, the player count is really high at the beginning, and then it starts to stoop a little bit, and then it hits an all-time low, and then it starts to rise again. I think that's what we're going to start seeing with Trials, really. And my point for this is, it, this happens, it, like, Destiny's population is always, it's very cyclic, in which, at the beginning of a year, it's very high, everyone's excited for the new content, as as you would expect, right? As any one sane person with some some form of understanding of statistics and releases would understand, Unless like it's a WoW expansion like Mr. Pandaria, but we're not going to talk about that. In any case, you could reasonably expect it to be higher at the beginning of the year, lower in the middle, and then uh, start to go up towards the end again, whenever the big bang or last expansion and all the hype and all that stuff is building up for the next year, which looks like we're starting to get to that point. The game's at an all-time low. I would say give it another month or two and then we'll start to see the population rise again maybe for the next season or maybe for the next year i'm not actually sure what we're getting i think we're getting another season but whatever that's um i'm starting to get into things i don't really know what i'm talking about so trials unfortunately the loot is very lackluster i hope bungie does something about it next season obviously they're not going to do anything about it this season Maybe we get some adept weapons, maybe we get some like trial as exclusive exotic or something. I saw Old Man Mikowski made a tweet about this and I was like, oh, that's not a bad idea. But this is a game where people only want the loot. They don't really care about effort or anything like that. So unfortunately, that would just benefit the carry culture even more, which again is something I'm heavily against, but I do not, I don't hate on anyone for being about that. But yeah, it's about time for me to wrap this short little video up. I'm getting back in the swing of doing actual YouTube content. This was actually a loadout request on stream. I have been grinding out streams so damn hard recently. I reapplied for Twitch partnership. My viewership's been very ha very good. I'm very happy with it recently. And I, it's really it, like a, I see the numbers and it kind of makes me think like, damn, this is a dream coming true. 
and so I'm really seizing this opportunity. I do need to get back on the YouTube grind because YouTube is a massive, massive part of that. So don't worry, I'm not neglecting YouTube guardians. But yeah, just check me out. I have always have my Twitch and my Discord and all that in my description. I love talking with you guys. I love communicating with my with my viewership. I, I don't really like to call fans as I've explained before, but my viewership. And if I get this partnership, I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream with a lot of different games. So check that out. This is the end of the video here because the, the video ended. But yeah, it would mean a lot if you guys would come check that out. I tend to stream around noon Eastern Standard Time in the United States, so check me out, dude. Catch you guys later.